This is how you do problem 321. And in all problems, you do two things initially. You write down the informa information you're given. And I have typed it in here. And you always draw a diagram. To draw the diagram, you have your building. You have the street. You're throwing a ball out the window or off a building. It hits the ground. Just like that. And it's easier if you write your data in your diagram. That's 24 meters from the origin to where it hits. And you were located 45 meters above ground. So your delta y is 45 meters. And this is your overall vector shown here. And what you do, you will break it up into the x component and, of course, the y component. And I already alluded to that up here, where you have your initial y, your initial x as being 0. Your velocity in the y direction initially is 0. And you're looking for the initial velocity in the x direction. You write down your equation, which I did right here. Uh, you're looking for your, your distance or your, your delta distance. And then you will, I'll bring this up a little, uh, your delta y is equal to y naught plus your initial velocity times time plus one half your acceleration in the y direction times t squared. Well, there are two things. Your we set your placement, your initial y, as 0. And your acceleration is due to gravity. So a will be g, or the gravitational constant. And this is the equation we'll be working with. Your displacement in the x direction is initial coordinate of your x, uh, plus velocity in the x direction times t plus one-half a t squared. Well, there is no acceleration in the x direction, and your initial point is zero, so your delta x is equal to velocity in the x direction times t. Going back to delta y, because we have to find t, we, we have to find t here. Uh, we plugged in your values for y, one-half gt squared. We solved for t here, and we got 3.03 seconds as your time it took for the projectile to hit the ground. And then we look at the x direction. Uh, in the x direction, we have velocity in the x-direction times t. Solving for v in the x-direction is delta x over t. You have 24 meters, and that was given in the problem. We solve for time, which is 3.03 seconds. And if you do the math, you get 7.92 meters per second. Again, for this and every problem, you always write down your data. You draw a diagram. And then you work out the problem. And this problem is a two-step problem. And that's all there is to it.